just your team defensively, what did you see in those final couple minutes to, to get enough stops and, and close that one out? Just resilient. You know, it's a very good team. They're fast. They can shoot the ball from deep. Uh, they could also take you off the bounce. And I thought we got stops when we need it. And then just finding a ways to win the game. Uh, that's the most important thing that we can build on. We could continue to get better. But to walk out of this building, um, just, you know, the flow of the game, you know, back and forth. And uh, there's a couple times where we, you know, they had the momentum and we didn't give up and we kept fighting and clawing and got back in the game. That's, that was, this was NBA basketball at its finest. Uh, we haven't seen you guys go to that switching unit a whole lot. Just what do you think of your team's ability to switch kind of everything in those final three minutes? Well, it's tough because we, you know, Brooke was so great on the offensive uh, boards and that lat down the stretch, and I was trying to keep him in the game, but at the, I, I thought we needed some uh, uh, – Go smaller so we can start switching. Then I put Bobby in because he played so well in the in that uh, first half and uh, in the third quarter he was phenomenal. So I wanted to give him the first crack, and then it got to where we needed to really protect the three point line. Um, and so end up going small, smaller I should say. But again, it's a tough team to guard. You know, all all their guards are fast, explosive, and and they're three-point threats as well. So it, it presented a, um, some matchup difficulties for us just at, just for their size and quickness. But again, like this, these type of games build character, and I thought our guys stepped up big time. Um, in that lineup, so Giannis is your big. How important was it for him to, to be big late down there, not foul, to come up with the two blocks and, and contested shots? Man, I mean, he's phenomenal. Um, he's a winner. You know, those are winning plays. And when you say if the guy a winner or not, um, he defines that because he's willing to do whatever it takes for us to, to win as a, a, as a team. And this is not the first time. You know, I, I know it's just a small body work uh, with me as far as me, me being around this um, every day. I'm sure you've seen it a hundred times, but I'm still in awe how he can – take over a game on both sides of the ball. And I think that's what makes him great. And he has such uh, pride in not only the defense, but just winning. You know, he, he doesn't want to – he's one of those guys that hates losing. And he's he'll do whatever it takes for the team to win and getting those big stops and blocks and coming up with loose balls and fighting and scrapping. You know, that's that's what makes him such a special individual. Um, you know, a couple nights ago, Damian had said, you know, there's a balance for him that he's trying to find of doing the right thing in the offense versus maybe what he would have done in Portland. Because he's like, that. maybe that's not sustainable at times. But do you feel he's been too passive? Like, there were a couple catch-and-shoot open opportunities that he passed off on. I, I don't know if, if, if you feel the same way. Well, I think, I think his intentions are great. You know, he's trying to be a great teammate. He's trying to make the the right reads, um, but at the same time, you know, him shooting the ball um, is what we need, you know, him being aggressive, and he's done that at times, and I think at, at times you can see that he's a little hesitant, and he doesn't, you know, I don't want to put words in his uh, mouth, but he, you know, he, he's almost too unselfish at times, um, but we just need him to be Dame, you know, uh, just be who you are, that's that's good enough, that's more than enough for us. And again, I keep you know, reminding everybody, it's a small body of work. These guys haven't been together that long and it's a long season and they'll continue to grow. They'll continue to build that chemistry and they'll, be, they'll, they'll um, I think they'll have a greater feel for the expectations for each other of what they're capable of doing and what they're expected to do out there. So, no, you know, can't rush the process, and we got to keep continue each day finding ways to get better. Tomorrow, tomorrow we watch film, and uh, we'll show them areas we got to improve, and, and then we'll get um, 
ready for the next game. But again, it's a gutsy win. I, I won't really want to give a shout out to our bench, which they were incredible. Um, 50 points. Um, you know, Mark, John, Jay, PC, you know, Pat, uh, Bobby was great. You know, Bobby was great. And uh, it, was, it was a total team effort. It's hard to come in a building on the road and walk out a win. And so I think this was a big character game. Well, and speaking of your bench, I'd love to hear about uh, campaign's performance from your viewpoint. Campaign, uh, don't let me forget him. He, you know, he settled us down, uh, gave us um, a little bit of poise out there. And he he was great on both sides of the ball. I, mean, I thought on the offensive end, uh, he was able to get us some some sets. We were able to execute, and, and then defensively with his effort and tenacity, and you know we were able to get back in the game with him on the floor. So, you know that's a veteran guy for you. You know he's not hasn't played a lot of minutes, probably nowhere near the minutes he would like. But I mean that's the definition of a professional who can come in a game uh, on call and perform. And that, that's what a professional does, they, they perform. And I thought he did a great job of that tonight. The team had a season high 48 rebounds. How did you feel about their performance protecting the glass? It's been one of the, uh, probably the biggest emphasis on the last couple of games where our rebounding, uh, in particular our defensive rebounding needed to take a huge step, a huge jump in the right direction. I thought that they made it happen tonight. And, you know, your team is going to get better on whatever you focus on. You know, if you focus on d defensive rebounding, they, they'll get better at defensive rebounding. If you get, you know, you focus on pace, they'll get um, better at pace. So I thought they did a great job of, of carrying over you know, everything that we've been stressing the last couple of days about limiting teams to one shot. And they were huge. So, um, but that's tonight. And then the next game, you got to do it all over again. Hey, coach, over here. Uh, you mentioned Giannis being, you know, that kind of winner, just whatever you need to do to win the game. The last five and a half minutes, it seemed like that was a lot of heavy screening for him, for Dame, for Chris. Uh, wondering, was that a conversation you had in a time, Alec? We got to get you on. Is that something that he just, they just sort of float into? Well, you know, we have three elite guys, and I don't want to forget about Chris either. He was phenomenal. Um, I think that was one of his best games. Um, and I know he's on limited minutes and whatnot, but he, man, we, we're just such a different pl uh, team when, when he's on the court. And you're just trying to find ways where those three guys are involved um, in the action. You know, Dame, Giannis, said, and well, Giannis said, no, Chris, I mean, it's not rocket science. You, you're just trying to get the ball in your, your in one of your three best players' hands, especially going down the stretch. And so we show flashes of what uh, can become. Um, and again, I keep harping on it. It's, it's a lot of time um, ahead of us as far as them building that chem chemistry. But it's, it's, it's fun to see it come together. Hey, Igor, I just want to ask you about someone from the other team. But Cam Thomas had another big night tonight for him this season. What do you think has made him so explosive as a scorer this year and, and how you guys tried to approach and defend him coming tonight? I think, one, you know, he has the freedom. You know, you know the freedom to and, – and when I thought, I thought Jock is uh, – you know, I've been knowing Jock for a long, long time. We go way back and – in college when we were um, five-star counselors. And I used to watch Jock after hours in the gym by himself with a chair and go over his pick and rolls. Uh, I always remember that about Jock. Like, he, he was just a, such a hard worker. But anyway, he, you know, I think Jock has done a great job of just instilling a lot of confidence in them, uh, especially Cam. And I was listening to um, Jock on the sidelines just telling Cam, just catching and shoot it, catching and shoot it. And so when you have a coach like that, you know, behind you, um, frees you up so you're not just, you know, thinking you're not worried about mistakes. And Cam is tough, man. He's, he's, he's proven that he's one of the best young guards coming up. And, you know, give him credit, man. He, he made some tough shots, you know, really, really tough shots.